stitching it easy my name is Ashley thank you so very much for joining me today okay so uh, very quickly if you've been here before hello <laughs> you're amazing if you are new my goodness why hello I am almost I am one person away last I looked from 2300 subscribers we've kind of had a countdown going today um it's <laughs> crazy so anyway <coughs> hello <laughs> you're new oh my goodness um all right so i just wanted to jump on here very quickly you can see all my amigurumi over here um my goodness let's see if i can turn you hold on dream i mean per usual y'all you know the deal look at that look at all that so they're everywhere um okay so i have a question and a dilemma of a, it's not really like a dilemma, but like it could be potentially. Nip it in the bud. <laughs> Alright, so. <clears throat> as far as my Amigurumi pricing goes, I look at it, well, as far as all of my crochet, so anything that I hand make, my pricing is a certain way. I feel like that's kind of the, you know, in order to make a profit, you have to figure out what you need, all of those things. Um, so, yeah. So, I know lots of people do it different ways. They'll do, like, their material times three times. Some people do, you know, their, what, all these things. I do my material costs, and I do, like, an hourly rate, and I figure that out. <coughs> and so that's what, that's how I do my things. So, my question to you all. I have three prices, well, not, four prices, I guess, in my Amigurumi. I have, like, mini, small, medium, large. Actually, it's really more like small, medium, extra large at this point, to be quite honest, because the, the big ones are pretty dead, um, dramatic. Um, this dude. And this dude. So anyway, um, okay, <clears throat> so I mean it could be, I don't know, either like I said, mini, small, medium, large, or small, medium, large, extra large, just whatever. I guess it's probably start with mini. They could be bigger. One of them's going to be way bigger than those. So anyway, <sighs> okay, four sizes. As far as my pricing, like I said, I do materials, my time. <sighs> And I feel like that works out really well. My only thing, okay, not even so much with like the shawls or anything like that. My thought, like as a mama, right? Walking up to a table, having multiple kiddos, because there's three of them at one point, and three kiddos under five. So, oh well, yeah. So, Just for a little bit, I guess. I was trying to figure that out and math that out, but yeah. So anyway, Swirly Dan had just started pre-K. Miss B was, I was still pregnant with Miss B, and then she was just a couple, like we were, what? A week and a half into pre-K, Miss B came along. So yeah, just for a little bit, <laughs> three under five. So I think of myself as a mama with little ones walking up there like multiple kiddos. And like the prices of the things and how much it is and I've had several people come up and it not be an issue in the slightest you know what I mean and then sometimes I'll get people and it's like crap you know um, <clears throat> like I can just you know what I mean like I don't know I just kind of they'll look at things or want something or whatever and then they don't purchase anything because they like, said so there'll be multiple kiddos and more than one wants something it's like you can tell that you know they either don't have that much just to spend at my booth or whatever um so 
I guess my question really, what do y'all do in situations like that where, just like that's what I was telling Derek, it's like I've donated several times, you know what I mean? So it's like sometimes I've just like given the things away. And then also I look at it as like, but it's a craft fair. And that's kind of why I'm there. It's like the stitching ain't easy, like business side of the things. And that's so what I kind of came up with, I said, please let me know what y'all do. Um, so I have some people that I've, I know sell their things for basically what their yarn costs or, you know, and that's whatever, you know, people that sell hats for like hardly anything or sell, you know, scrubbies for hardly anything, you know, and if that's your prerogative, that's fine. At the end of the day, I still have to look at it as I paid my booth rent to get in there. I had, you know, gas money to get there. I have a family to feed while we're there. Also, um, I like either purchase my yarn or, you know, happy mail. I have it given to me, don't get me wrong, but also, you know, there are other things that I purchase and put into it. So it's like, you know, I have to make some sort of a profit. You know, I don't want to make 50 cents off of an item or make nothing off of an item, you know? So, <coughs> Derek and I were talking and it's like, do I just like keep them at this, like what they are? And then like if someone comes up and like I can kind of tell maybe, you know, they have like multiple kids and it's kind of a thing and just be like, oh, okay, you know, yeah, you're looking at such and such. Oh, that's cool. You know, I forgot to tell you, like I have this still, like if you buy two, you get one free kind of a thing or something like that. You know, if you do, you know, or if you buy, you say there's two kids even. Like, you know, if you buy one, you get one half off or something, you know, something like that, <coughs> which I'm completely willing to do more than willing to do. My goodness gracious on just like that, you know, like when I feel in my heart, like it's the thing to do. I also, like I said, don't want to, I mean, I don't feel like my prices are high or out of range by any means, do not even remotely get me wrong. Like, I feel like they're pretty spot on with what they are, um, with what the yarn is, how much stuffing, safety eyes, or the eyes, eyes, so all those things. I feel like it's, you know, you think about, you go to the store, look at a plushie, how much are they? I think I'm doing okay. I just think of, said that, that mama in me thinks, uh, like the business owner size, like, yeah, obviously. <laughs> The mama in me is like, hmm, because hmm. like, you know, this much times however many, even if they're different sizes, you know. So do you guys have any suggestions at all for that sort of situation? Because like I said, I have sold things, had no problem selling things several times, just I had no questions, no issues. Um, and so, I mean, I don't think that my, like, they're priced high. I just understand those situations, you know, like, so, said, and, uh, same thing, like I said, I've made them and given them away. So it's like, quite the pickle, um, <laughs> I guess. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to just quickly ask what y'all thought what you guys do. Do you do anything at all in those cir circumstances? Do you just like let it ride? How does that play out? Do you do special deals? Like I said, once again, Derek and I kind of thought that, you know, it's like, oh, you buy, you know, oh yeah, oh my gosh, I'm so, you know, just like be cool about it, you know, obviously not do it for everybody, but if I can tell that it's like, oh, well, you know, we'll come back or something. It's like, oh, well, you know, just so you know, you know, we have a buy one get one half off or buy one get one free even sometimes or whatever deal if you know yeah um <clears throat> it's obviously not all the time but just yeah I mean I don't oh gosh I'll, I don't know because I'm still new to all this but I just got to thinking of that like as I sat all my almond grew me out and was like looking at them and like okay this these are the sizes this is where you know things are gonna go um, because I just filmed a video, I'm going to have two parts, <laughs> two-parter coming up this week, 
um, of my crafter inventory. There's part one I filmed today, which is amigurumi and hats and such, basically. And then there's going to be a part two tomorrow. You know what I mean? Hopefully I get through it. Um, I may start a little bit of it tonight. Derek's looking and bringing my other bag down here. I have one at the shop. Apparently I didn't know. I thought that I just had, and I say this in the video that I made earlier, I thought I just had another bag in a tub and they're in the house. He tells me I have a few bags <laughs> at the shop. He's like, you have a lot of inventory. I was like, oh, okay. So we may come back on here and there may be three parts. I don't know. Anyway. So yeah. Um, but yeah, as I was like, so looking at everything earlier and had it all set out and was like going through the things, I just had that thought. It's like, just like as that young mama walking up there, you know, with three kids or however many, you know, what do you do? <laughs> all right. Thank you. Um, so yeah, I just didn't know if you guys had anything at all like that. And that's another, okay. Another thing. That was one thing Derek and I were saying. It's like, you know, I could just make something that's like really, really quick and takes hardly any yarn and make a bunch of like small ones and have like a little thing set up and just have like, you know, maybe like three or five dollar items. And I really want to make some backpack buddies kind of do that. And I know like worry worms and stuff like that. Um, but we talked just if you guys have any ideas at all like that, something that just is really, really quick that's. Or not necessarily really, really, well, I mean, it's kind of quick, but something that would be something like that I could sell for just a couple bucks or whatever, you know, and then just in case, then it's like, oh, hey, you know, here's this thing and it's, you know, just a couple dollars or whatever and have like that. And then, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Um, anyway, do you guys have any suggestions as far as that too? Like just a really, really, at least I know that there are some easy things. Um, we discussed like little fluffy plush balls, but I was thinking something a little more exciting. So I don't know. Opinions welcome. Cool. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> so yeah, that's it. I just wanted to quickly, even though it's 12 minutes long, I guess, just jump on here and just ask you guys if you have any ideas what do you guys do if that situation at all arises like I said Derek's one that whenever someone walks up and they're like you know something's five dollars and they have two dollars he's like okay here you go you know which is fine and like I said I'm totally cool with that but it's like also I don't want this is my other thing as that you know as the mama I don't want her to feel you know like oh, well, you know, or tell them, like, you know, well, we don't have that much, or, you know what I mean, or, like, have to make a thing about it. I just want it to be something that's, like, yeah, we just do this, you know, um, so I don't know. <laughs> Once again, yeah, this is mostly just, like, an open forum <laughs> type video. What you got? So, <clears throat> all right, when that situation arises, what do y'all do? Cool. All right, so thank you all. For any opinions that you have. I appreciate it. I hope you all have a wonderfully, wonderfully blessed day. Like I said, I will come back tomorrow. I have a yarn video sometime this week. I have at least two parts, at a minimum two parts of craft fair inventory. I'm going to do a table setup. I think I'm just going to kind of set back and like film bits and pieces of it and kind of let B help me out with that so um <clears throat> it may not be like a whole thing it may just be kind of chopped up because I don't want to put her out there but that's all right um anyway but I want to do that like figure out my table and all that and then craft fair this week so yeah all right so I thank you all once again very much I hope you have a wonderful blessed day I already said that please stay safe I'll talk to you all very soon.